Hey guys, it's uh, Shaleen from Let's Bake 365. Uh, thank you so much to you and Chegu Joel for inviting me to your school. Unfortunately, I will not be able to make it. Not because I'm shy, it's because I'm still having classes this week. Um, hopefully, through this video, I'll be able to make it up to you. Um, if you have any other questions uh, that you need to ask me, that I will that I've not shared later on, uh, feel free to email me here. Okay. So before I begin, um, let me do a short introduction of oh, I'm 20 years old and I'm currently uh, studying pharmacy in the University of Nottingham. Uh, it'll be, I'll be, so far I'm in my second year and I'll be going to UK uh, for the next two years to finish my pharmacy studies. I have three very cute dogs and uh, this is Truffles. This is Butter and this is Rose. He's got blue eyes deep like the sea that rolled back when he's laughing at me. So, when and how? Back in my school, when I was Form 3, I, I first learned how to bake and cook in my Kamahira Hidok class. Uh, I learned different uh, basic techniques uh, to to make cookies, cakes, and everything. So that's when I started, um, I got exposed to baking and cooking, and that's uh, after that I just went on and looked for recipes, watch YouTube videos, and learn more about uh, techniques, and ask my grandma, my mom. Yeah, that's probably how I started. We can dance in slow. So basically, it was first inspired by my friend's Project 365. Uh, Project 365 is where you take pictures and you show your photography work to, the, to your friends and family and the public. So I wanted to do the same for baking. So that's when I started doing the same. So I took pictures of whatever I baked and I posted it up. But sooner or later, my friends were actually requesting for recipes instead. So that's when I realized that my readers actually want recipes too. So I started putting recipes and the pictures together and it was a hit. So from then I just continued on. My favorite part would most probably be when I hand my baked products to my friends and family uh, when they eat it and they you can observe the smile on your face and the satisfaction like they really enjoy the food that you make for them that feeling of being appreciated is really satisfying find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need well, the hardest part is not actually starting the blog, but maintaining the blog because every time I update a new recipe, um, I need a lot of time to prepare because I need to make sure I research uh, for recipes, uh, read on recipes, study the techniques and watch YouTube videos on how to how other people prepare that certain um certain dish, I guess, certain dish, certain cake, certain cookies. So a lot of time go into that. Then after that, I will have to try the recipe out myself. After trying out the recipe myself, I have to make sure it's successful and I have to make sure that I have a very good picture of it. Um, and I have to construct my post. So it basically the whole process is very time consuming. So it was easier when I, uh, during my summer break, but it's a bit harder now, but I am working on it. So hopefully I'll be able to cope. Me like one, two, three, I'll be there. I know when so basically it started off in Tumblr and then I moved it to Blogspot where I renamed it uh, Let's Pick 365. Then after that, I created a Facebook page which hit more than 100 likes in less than 2 hours. 
and then I launched an online bakery called Treasure and Treasure actually means treasure and then after that um, I had my big sale big sale in uni um, and I got to learn a little extra cha-ching cha-ching now my next plan Okay, so my future plans right now for Let's Bake 365 is to have uh, people to guest post in my blog. Um, guest post is where um, I invite other, like my friends or family or other people to share uh, their favourite or best recipes in my blog. So that would uh, lighten my workload in the sense of trying uh, the other recipes and it also will be good and there will, there will be different stuff than the normal things I usually do so hopefully it all works out so do check it out okay mm. <clears throat> I hope this uh, video has not been too boring because I'm so sorry about the editing because I really didn't really have time to edit it properly and not so pro like Jegu Joel anyway uh, and yeah so um, thank you so much for letting me be an inspiration to you. Uh, it has been a very big uh, encouragement. And so, uh, oh, and do not forget that you yourself can be an inspiration to others. So who knows, maybe some of you may have um, a baking blog like me or something even crazier or better. So yeah, mm, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, and if any of you are interested in pharmacy or, or would like to know more about pharmacy, you can also email me. Um, so I hope you all have a good day and I will see you all soon maybe if I can. Okay, um, right now. Bye! Oh well. La la la, we're going out it tonight, tonight. There's a party on the rooftop, top of the world tonight. Night, and we're dancing on the edge of the Hollywood side. I don't know if I'll make it, but watch how good I'll fake it. It's alright, alright, tonight, tonight. I woke up with a strange tattoo. Not sure how I got it, not a dollar in my pocket, and it kinda looks just like you. Mixed with that Galifianakis. La la la, whatever. La la la, it doesn't matter.